20. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, we've been going Ooh. since 2018, believe it or not. Okay. Man, we're old. That we're going to be two years old later this year. How insane is that? There's a lot of videos. There's a lot of, lot, of, lot of energy, a lot of painting, not for this game. But in general, there's, uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm your borderline insane host, Brad Harmer Barnes. I'm joined by my borderline insane colleague, Neil Harmer. How are you doing? I'm good. Happy new Star Wars year. We had a new, we've had a new Star Wars movie since yes. we last filmed. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Dave enjoyed it. Yeah. And of course, we're joined by the man who won't leave, Dave Mustill. <laughs> <laughs> So, guys, how are we all doing? We Star Wars in, we, we're all happy with episode nine. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. I, it was a great ride. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, the, totally, the, 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 there, there were some wobbly bits, but overall, I just, like I said to you on the ride on the way here, there's no criticisms I can make episode nine, which I wouldn't also have to apply to Star Wars or the fantasy genre in general. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. Yeah. yeah and yeah. the the best review I've heard of it is it was like a bouncy castle made out of dildos, fun but poorly constructed. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Fair. Um, anyway, um, but you know, thirty odd years before uh, we got to the sequel trilogy, um, there was the Galactic Civil War, which is the game we're playing today, which is a game on fancy flights games, Star Wars Armada, a favourite of Dave and and mine, in fact. And uh, Ian, in fact, enjoyed his last two games of it, so we're slowly winning him round. Slowly round. winning me over. So it's a slow game, that's fine. Yeah. Um, it's no illusion. Uh, they're very different. They're very, very, very different, yeah. Um, that's, see, I, I, think I have a favourite. That's fine, I think Rebellion might be king for me, to be honest. It's a very good game, yeah. And I, I've enjoyed it out of rim. Yeah. <laughs> fancy Flight haven't made this. There's, there's no this bad is, Fancy yeah, Flight Star Wars game. <laughs> They haven't made a bad no. Star Wars game yet. No, it's yet. Well, well, re well, well researched, well thought out. Yeah. Um, yeah, they don't. They they don't something shoddy about it. No, you've got. It's, it's just an overlay, is it? No, no, no I mean, um, but it's over a year ago they announced Clone Wars Armada, and we've seen nothing of it since then, apart from a Clone Wars Armada logo. So I'm wondering if that's going to be. They've been quite busy. I wonder if that might be the summer release. Hmm. Possibly. And there's big battles in Clone Wars. I think yes. if anything, I think I might have saw Clone Wars better than it suited Galactic Civil War in the first place. Possibly. Yeah. Get from level and sound there, it'd be fun. Um, so the uh, story we've got going on today is an Intel sweep. Um, we've managed to make it work chronologically. We know it's some point before Empire this is taking place. <laughs> Due to all these characters were alive at the same time, we've managed to make it work again. Uh, so this game of Intel Sweep is uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five markers that are across the board, and there are two ships which can pick these up. One of which is uh, Dave's Raider Class Two, and my Corellian Corvette. Uh, when a player's objective ship reveals a command dial, that player may choose one objective token at distance one of that ship and remove it from the play area to gain a victory token. At the end of the sixth turn, whoever has got the most of these markers in uh, their little pocket scores an extra 75 points, which may well be a game decider unless someone manages to completely like obliterate. Quite a boost, actually. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, it's normally you just do it on the points cost of the ships you destroy and the squadrons you destroy, it's how many points you get. So it's 400 points to play for on the table plus an extra 75, could be a game changer. Um, I'm hopeful, uh, so the reason I picked my Krillin Corvette is because it's fast, it's nippy and I've got the Ghost and some X-Wings flying escort with it. Um, I'm really hopeful because you know, first, first thing we ever see in Star Wars is one of these moving quickly. Yeah, well, that's true. So I'm hopeful. Uh, Dave, what uh, made you leave with the Raider on that mission? Well, yeah, exactly the same thing. It's fast move. It was the first time I've used the Raiders. Because mm -hmm. um, you've got two of them. Two, yeah. 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 Um, right in the list, it's, it, it kind of made sense. And it was something I wanted to try. I've yeah. not used three of these ships before. So mm -hmm. uh, two of them are Raiders. Cool. Um, but yeah. Do you want to give us a quick talk through your fleet? Yeah, okay. So we're fielding the Relentless. Mm -hmm. um, Shall I tell you where my Admiral is? I guess. Yeah, Admiral, Admiral Screed. Yes, it's flying the relentless Screed. Yeah, yeah. I don't know either. No, um, sounds good. Yeah, it's good. Good name. For yeah, the Clone Wars. Yeah, there you go. Top top Admiral, which is more than can be said for most Admirals in the Galactic Civil War. This is true. Um, uh, so we also have a Gladiator class Star Destroyer mm -hmm. again, which I haven't used before. And uh, in the middle, this one is the Raider Impetuous. Mm -hmm. And on the far side, Raider 2 is commanded by Admiral Titus. 
Okay, awesome. And uh, anybody else there? And you're, you've, you've got some squadrons held in reserve, haven't I have you? Some, yes, um, on board the uh, the the relentless. Mm -hmm. So that's your that's your um, launch base. Your star destroyer has got yes. a, a bunch of ties hanging around. Oh, yes, as it should do. Yes. Okay, uh, my fleet. Um, I've got a, an MCAT over here, uh, which is staffed by uh, General Rican. Uh, and assisted by a Sokotano, and it is loaded for bear. I have a lot of big guns on this thing. It's a big ship. Oh. It's, it's, it's a, it, yeah, it's, it's a big ship for the um, Rebel Alliance, to be mm. honest. Um, we, we used to sort of games the Empire always bring for big guns, and we the Rebels always kind of have to play clever. To, it, as I've said this about Legion before, if the Imperials can afford to play aggressively, the Rebels have to play cleverly. Yes. And uh, it's very much the same case. Uh, in our model, in my opinion. Uh, my Korean Corvette is um, led by uh, General Draven, who's the leader of the Yavin 4 base in Rogue One. Mm -hmm. He's still alive after Rogue One, it's fine. And I also have a Nebulon B support frigate who's led by Leia Organa as well as a as a captain, not as an admiral. So my admiral is General Regan. Yeah, I've got some mm. big characters. Um, my squadrons, my squadrons I'm not 100% happy with. My squadrons are a, a little wank, to be honest. I normally take some decent ones and I didn't. I've got a generic version of the Ghost, which I'm saying is the Ghost for narrative purposes. Mm -hmm. I've got some Y-Wings, I've got an H6 bomber from Jedi Starfighter on PlayStation 2, and um, some Z95s. Anyone? No? The precursor yeah, to the X-Wings. Yeah. yeah. And uh, X-Wings. And... I've got some B-Wings uh, who should hopefully be able to do some damage. But, but um, no, no X-Wings? I've got one squadron of X-Wings. One squadron. Uh, and the Ghost and that's just a Z Z-95s yeah. X-Wings without the X. Yeah. Um, the only special characters I've got is that one of the squadrons of Y Wings is Gold Squadron from uh, the Battle of Yavin. Um, obviously, messed up around afterwards as well. Just not as many oh, of them. I, I did chuck in more than Mythel. Yeah, so oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's quite an original character. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, we've got, it seems like we've both gone for the strategy of one guy going fast while the rest of them just pile on. Yeah. Blood Bowl strategy, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, there's not much more to say, is it? So, um, at the start of turn one, we need to assign our order dials for our entire fleet. Yes. Go. Ian, yeah, what's your initial impressions so far? There's quite a lot of space there between you. So, it's going to be about two game turns before we actually start to close, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the, the loadout looks really good. It's whether the you can. It looks nice on the field. Yeah, I, I think if you can encumber one of the fast guys, then obviously you've got the game, I think. Mm -hmm. Ramming speed, obviously. I'm just obsessed with ramming in this game. Ram. It's not supposed to happen, but it's always fun when it does. Yes. <laughs> I think it's yet another me uh, mechanic with this game that I like. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, you know, you've got the whole 3D space thing, which is really yeah. hard to do with a 2D battlefield. Yeah. But it, it always feels like it. they've got it right with this game. Yes. Yeah. I've known other Starship games that don't do this. Don't I do think it's also because Star Wars doesn't really play with the three exactly. mechanic, yeah. does it? They're always kind of yeah. like that. Always, yeah, yeah, not, yeah. No one ever comes come to like, yeah. no one comes we like that. We have them trapped. Well, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That was one of the best things Star Trek did. It's like the, the it was. The, the Rafa Khan. Yes, uh, yeah. it was the final shot of Star Trek Discovery. Is there's two, it's uh, Discovery meets the Enterprise movies I mean, coming at right angles to each other. Yeah. And also Rafa Khan when he's in the Nebula. Yeah. That's brilliant. They, He's thinking in a 2D way, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was absolutely brilliant. But that would get the other series at the moment. Okay, so you, have you assigned all of your dials, Dave? I have. Okay, cool. Now you nominated me to be first player, didn't you? Yeah, indeed. Okay, so I'm going to have to uh, pick one of my ships. Before I'm gonna... we start, oh, I will we remember. Jumping in already. Admiral Titus at the start. It's okay, I don't care. Yeah. Uh, at the start of the first round, this is Admiral Titus. You may change one enemy ship's speed by one. Okay. Um, well, um, so I think my Nebulon B and my MCAT are both travelling at speed two. My Corellian Corvette is travelling at speed three. I would like to reduce the Corellian Corvette down to two, please. Fair enough. Done. Is that a one-shot one deal? <coughs> yes, first, opening first round, yeah. Right, uh, well I'm going to activate my Nebulon B anyway, um, who has a initial squadron order, which I am going to bank, because I'm going to need some escort later on. It's the uh, first turn of a game of Armada, so everyone is well out of range, so I can skip straight ahead 
to move and move right on B along at its current speed of 2. Uh, well, we're all going to die anyway. Uh, it's over to you. Well, if you will face down the relentless, I will. <laughs> my first order. Mm -hmm. um, first order? Yes, first order. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll bank a repair token. Okay, cool, please. Have you got token tokens? Oh, sure, yeah, I've got yours, yeah. Got yeah. the stash. Uh, I should have picked up a stash, but I didn't. Okay, so I've got speed two as mm -hmm. well. Yes, I didn't have a dark eye, so that's right. We'll sort this out in a break. Yeah, I'm sure. It's coming right for us. It certainly is. All right, mate. It's all right, I'm surrounded by bombers. Okay. Right. That moved quicker than I thought it was. Uh, they can get a shift on, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm going to activate my MC80 at that point, which is the independence. And I've got engineering order as is tradition, which I'm going to bank. As soon as you drop out of hyperspeed, you start screaming at the engineering department. <laughs> I'm definitely well out of range of everyone, so uh, that's a ride. Four you more. Again, I know we said it before, but the, the whole shoot and then move mechanic is probably the best thing anyone's ever done in a game. Really? The, number, you... the number of games where you think, this game would be so far vastly improved if you had to shoot before you moved. Yeah. And this one actually does it. Which is weird because people shooting first normally piss your Star Wars fans off. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, over to you. Yeah, yeah, but. And that is the simple reason why it turns over quicker at the beginning, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. It's, it's the thing that really throws new players with this game, though. Mm. Do you shoot the face before? Yeah, because you normally think, oh, I've got to line up your shot. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go in size order. Okay. okay, Gladio class. Okay. Uh, which I've also given an engineering. Uh, Drops out the hyper space, just starts sort of screaming at all the techies, and General Huck's about to pop a bollock. So, can I grab another token? Yes, what we'll 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 Yeah, some extra spenders. Hydro spenders? Is it hydro or hydro? Hail what? Hail hydro. Uh, so, he's also moving at speed two. That just leaves my Krillian Corvette still to go. Uh, I'm given a squadron order, which I am going to bank. Because I don't think they're particularly nimble. I might be able to afford me much in the way of escort yet, anyway. Uh, I was travelling at speed 3, but then someone decided to put the handbrake on. So uh, thanks for that, Kevin. So my Krillian Corvette has been dropped down to speed 2, which uh, is a bit of a bugger for the plan I had. It's limping along. Thanks for that, Admiral Tissus. Uh, that's all of my ships done. I think it was a fairly sneaky move to be Yeah, honest. it was pretty good. And, as I, as I and this is you without an interdictor. Yeah. As, as I mentioned before, before we started playing the game, I've used that character at least twice and forgotten to use that <laughs> rock. So it's slight, Points slight well spent, everyone. Vindication of my learning. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a massive, it's a massive two points. Yeah. But I thought two points was meant in this case. I'm just going to have a, a space slug kind of pop out of this. <laughs> awesome. Uh, okay, the right bobbies, now. Apparently hmm? they're bobbies. Oh yeah, thanks to Bobby for supplying us with his saucy yeah. ribs. Cheers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, right I'll give him a, a navigate option. Talk. But seriously, how ready are we for Babby Freak to have a spin off series? <laughs> he was so good. Wasn't he? I think he needs to set up a detective agency in 1980s Miami. Did I, I messaged you to, uh, who did the voice. I don't know who did the voice of Babby Freak. I, I texted it, it's Moni Myrtle, the actress. Oh, okay. It's the same. She does the voice of Babby Freak. Okay. <laughs> seriously, yeah, that, that's, yeah. Up there with, that's up there with Groot, isn't it? Who, yeah. who really cares who does yeah. Groot's voice? Um, the alien who, uh, Finn goes up to the top of a falcon, there's an alien who drops him down to some rebel intel. Mm -hmm. That's Mark Hamill. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
Awesome. Uh, two I'll blue checks. I was yeah. looking out for him, but I didn't see Kevin Smith is in it apparently with an actual. You can actually see him in this. Oh one. really? Okay. I think he's been in each one of the new oh, okay. trilogy. Oh, well, I think I saw him actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was looking out and then we kind of got lost in the moment. So. Okay. Totally fair. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Can I bank uh, move a uh, maneuver? Totally yeah. fair. Running out of cake at this rate. Uh, and I've got to get round there to the other one. So the other raider. Fun enough. Engineering. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll bank an engineering token, but he's actually moving it to speed three. Oh, okay. So I mean, it should afford to slow him down. All the way around. It's alright, I've got some big guns, I reckon it might slow him down a bit. I'm, wor I'm worried I'm going to be a bit close to that. I think, I think you might have some holes in you. That's what I planned. <laughs> Alpha strike, you say? Yeah, so if you lose the draft, <laughs> you've got no backup, you can't pick up those cut tokens. Nah. So, crippling that would be quite useful, wouldn't it? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, run away, run away very fast. Okay, okay that's all my kill. Is that all our ships done? So, it's on to our squadrons then. Right. Come over here, slow my ships down. Well, one if not your turn, proxy will. Uh, send in my, both my Y Wing squadrons. Desperate attempt to save sexier, more important lives. <laughs> uh, that's your squadrons. Is it screen or screed? Screen. Right. Screed's always going on. He's a man. He's the admiral, isn't he? Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you heard of him, right? Um, no, actually. <laughs> we'll have to look up over years. He definitely fought in the Clone Wars. Okay. And then went on to serve the Galactic oh, yeah. Empire. Uh, I'm all out of. Okay. I only have two squadrons on. I, I feel like I've underplayed the squadrons. As the Empire, I should have millions and millions and millions of tough fighters. Some, it's almost like you've got some in reserve. Well, yeah, but even with them on, quite I think some you'll still have them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think you've actually got more squadrons than I have. I don't know yeah. about you, when, I, when I'm building the list, I look at um, the, the sort of freighters and things, hmm. and then I always seem to find something better to take. Than, than taking a freighter. Yeah, so yeah. Then, you know, Boba Fett, I'll say, even though Boba Fett's rock hard. Oh, it is. You yeah. think, okay. But he needs more than the base ship, I think. For those, oh. for those points, I can yeah. get various other things. Yeah, yeah. an interceptor. Right, that's yeah. all my squadrons play through. So that is the end of turn one. See? Whips right super fast. Yeah. These guys are all about to die. Yay! Yay! Barry forgot to take the handbrake off, so thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, we, yes, have, we, we have a very cool and efficient emblem. We do, yeah. So onto the status phase, if you've got any defence tokens at a red, better flip back around to green. Any cards you've tapped, refresh. Uh, for the second turn, squadrons are activating on red. And on to turn two. So you need to go around and place your next order dials down. Uh, Ian, you wrap up for the first turn. It was full of excitement. I like the handbrake turn that you made to do. Mm. Um, I'm concerned for Dave's um, in Raider up there. <laughs> I am slightly. Because I'm slightly outgunned, out I think he is. Well, I think you might have a problem in the middle of the table as well. Mm hmm. Gonna have to get navigating. <laughs> it's not a real word, please don't look it up. All set? It's looking good. I think so. So with me as first player, that's me first to activate, isn't it? Everyone's still very much going to be out of range. I think, yeah. Yeah. I'm going 
gonna go for the Korean Corvette in a bold move, which I like to call for foolhardy. Um, <laughs> but what I am going to do is I am going to activate, uh, I'm going to cash in my previously banked squadron order, which will allow me to activate one squadron before that, uh, to move and shoot before I take my turn. Mm. And for that, I am going to send these as interceptors back. Okay. I'm going to send my X Wings in to try and take out the interceptors. Sensible. Hilarious. It was the worst that can happen. Um, so my anti-squadron coming off of the X-Wings is four blue. That is one point of damage on the toy interceptors. I will quite happily take that to start okay. into ping. I do in fact have counter two. After a squadron performs a non-counter attack against you, you may attack that squadron with an anti-squadron armament of two blue dice. Cool. Just got a volley fire back. Fire yeah. back. Yeah. Mm. Fuck. Two, Two points of damage on the X-Wings. Ouch! I regret that. <laughs> I don't regret this, but I both ruined the it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's on to my CR90, whose uh, order for this turn is Navigate, and I will be cranking my speed back up to yeah, the speed yeah. I was supposed to be, and I'll get one extra click on my movement tool as well. Over to the Empire. Okay, I think I'll go activate the Raider 2 on the far side. He's got a manoeuvre. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to bank a manoeuvre token. You know, for now. I think he's moving at speed 3. I think that's enough to keep him just out of reach of that nasty croaky. Mm -hmm. Bullying Mon Calamari thing. Counts as escalation in the war, doesn't it? Yeah, not running away at all. But, uh, I'll go to the corner. So I'll keep that down. Right. It's like a tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. Brave Sir Robin ran away. No. <laughs> Bravely ran away, away. I'm going to activate the MC80. Oh. I'm scared. Yeah, my orders for this turn are squadron. Don't want to use those. That's quite a leap of range. Yeah, they're not that fast. No, I'll bank the squadron order for now, I think. Um, I don't believe I've got anyone I can hit. Pew, 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 pew. Okay, fine. No one I can hit. Travelling at a speed of two. Nice. People may hit that asteroid field. I am going to hit that asteroid field. And What's the chance of never going to first catch of the day? <laughs> uh, asteroid field, one face up damage card. Bypass his shields. Which is the uh, you know, one thing we didn't want to happen, really. Uh, projector misaligned. Your hull zone with the most remaining shields loses all of its shields. Oh if multiple hull zones are tied, choose between tied hull zones and flip this card face down. Wow. Um, Quick lads. Point your all weapons at the MCA test. That's a bit of a... Can that's um, that's yeah, not I'm a good one to pull wipe. first. And because it's asteroid. <laughs> I'm going to wipe my starboard shields. Wow. Flip that face I've down. never known quite that sort of damage. You know what, at later in the game, when you've all got like one or two shields on each side, that wouldn't have been such a pain in the yeah, ass. Yeah. But Barry, who I put in charge of shields for the first time today. <laughs> Is that um, Barry who had transferred to yeah, the other Yeah, he's got engineering running. I've got seven hit points remaining on the MC80, so it's, yeah, it could be worse. Uh, right, let's see what we can do with Something might happen here, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Last, last something might go bang. He's going to fire off like a gazante, isn't he? Oh, I've, got some, I've got some red dots on it. It's a bit drafty in the starboard side, isn't it? It, yeah, I'm not happy about that. So, I mean, normally those turn up aren't that biting. That's it. Yeah, I was expecting it might be a double damage, worst case yeah. scenario. But like I said, you're later on in the game when everyone's a bit more knackered, that's probably not the best. These things normally kick in after you've had your shields blown. Mm. That's really biting. Yeah, that is. 
You yeah. couldn't have picked a worse one. No, nah, that's. Yeah. Um, I've, I've, not, I've not known even the face up damage cards. No, nah, don't tend to. Short of Darth Vader different. appears in the corridor, that's the worst card <laughs> yeah. you can pull. <laughs> that's, that's a rebel player, obviously. Yeah. Um, for me, I mean, I've, 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 I don't know. I don't think your admirals didn't fare very well against it. true. I've never known one quite that fighting. So I've given him. I'm not happy about it. No. <laughs> Is there a worse one, like your ship explodes, or probably? I think I personally would have avoided the asteroid field, yeah. but that's just me. That's how I play well, this thing. Well, I tried no, to, because I, I also I, figured I'm big enough, I'll put out that's, there. That's, that, yeah, that would be my thoughts. Yeah. I'll yeah. take it on the chin. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's find that one hologram just going, at an empire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you got everyone to do what I meant. Yeah. No one's through it on camera. No. <laughs> and yet everyone watching along at home. Uh, okay, so I've got a manoeuvre. And we'll shoot this one right. on the Gladiator class. Gladiator, okay, cool. So, I'm not sure where you've got you. I've not seen it before, no. Oh, what a clue. It's, it's one of those, I happen to get one in a job lot, mm. so I'm fielding it. Oh, that's, okay. That's my, that's my, my usage. Oh, okay, so you don't really know the background to it? No. Uh, I have... You sure it's not the <laughs> I haven't made it for a bit, bit big, bit big for X-Wing, that's a whole table jobby. It is effectively a Star Destroyer, it's very wee, but it is yeah. effectively a Star Destroyer. It's not as wee as that one. Uh, the Gladiator Star Destroyer has, uh, at present, has no hard cannon appearances, ah. but its first appearance is actually in the 1980s cartoon series Star Wars Droids. Blimey, droids! Uh, I feel, I feel I feel slightly wrong there. That <laughs> yeah, is fine. Right, that's going out of the collection. Okay, uh, so I've got red range on there. Two red dice at the front arc. Mm -hmm. That's not good. That is the only oh, unless I can do. Uh, if you do squadron shots, you can only do squadron shots, can't you? You can't do one of each. Um, you could do a squadron. You could do a squadron shot out of your port, and you could do a normal shot out of your front. It's a little bit vague in the book. It's a little bit vague in the in the book where it mm. says about squadron. Yeah, if you say you can only do two shots from yeah. two different hull zones. So you could do your port shot would be anti squadron would then hit every enemy squadron in your yeah. port field. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. So yeah. Do so what's your anti squadron? Uh, it looks like one blue die. Okay. Which is not. Uh, only hits count. Yeah. Uh, unless you've got any special rules to counteract that against the squadron. Not on that ship. No. Okay. Very small, fast moving targets, anti squadron fires always. Yeah, it's not, not a lot of dice no. for that. Um, but, yeah, two red dice front arc. Um, I can hit your starboard arc. Okay. Oh, I'm rolling both in there. There you go. One hit. Uh, one hit. What range was that at? Uh, it's at long range. Long range? Yeah. Okay, then I will spend an evade token to cancel that dice. Okay. Uh, no effect. It's moving too fast for you, as are my X Wings. First shots away. Good. First shots away. That's good though. Uh, good action. Cool. Movement for the radiator. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry, you, I'm taking a, a maneuver token. I think I did say that. Yeah. He's got a maneuver token, he's got a maneuver. Mm -hmm. uh, order, he's moving at speed two. I think I'll just. We'll just cruise up alongside. It's a bit snazzy. Gone now, Clint. I think everyone had. Yeah. yeah. There was a reason. It was a bit cutesy, wasn't it? Um, it certainly wasn't as good as Ewoks. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the, that was the cutesy Star Wars fight, wasn't it? <coughs> the Ewoks yeah. movie, the Ewoks you, cartoon series. You, you, kids with with rebels, you kids with rebels and resistance, you don't know what it was like. Yeah. <laughs> Your activation? Uh, yeah, that's just my uh, Nebula B to go. We should also have Leia on it, so that's fine. Uh, I've got the engineering one, which I'm going to bank. Might need him next turn when I'm getting shot to shit by someone else. Oh, I mean, for the love of God. No, no chance at all. I'll just be moving along now. 
travelling at the speed of two. Oh, the princess, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Can I suggest avoiding the rocks that are floating about? <laughs> There's many things I will ask for your help and advice on. Now, <laughs> space <laughs> naval combat, <laughs> never going to be one of them. <laughs> Uh, and so was you. Uh, my ships are played out, so if you want to run through yours. Okay. Well, let's activate Big Boy. We've got to make a show of these things. Uh, here we have this manoeuvre. They're quite spicy. Oh, they're, okay. they're quite peppery, yeah. He's a bob, isn't he? Yeah, but he's a bit useful, it's fine. I'm not sure they're not packaging material, you know. The, the spice is nice, it's got a jerk type flavor. Yeah. That stuff usually is packaging material. Other snakes are available. Um, where do we want to go? Oh, they? Apparently, we're not right now. Yeah. <laughs> we're still working away from mince pies. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, we've still got mince pies. Especially when yesterday my wife just went, I found a panettone in the cupboard. <laughs> we found that one. Yeah, yeah. For some reason we bought two. Yeah. When I was a kid, I was a printer. <laughs> I should measure range really, shouldn't I, before? Because I've got some red dots. Yeah, I've moved drifted yeah, a bit yeah, closer yeah. towards you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Oh. Just, just going with that armada, no shooting in the first yeah. couple of turns. Uh, that's what he's going my, to do. My entire front battery. Scoop a go, that's what he's going to do. Is in range. Yeah. So you don't have to activate the other side. Yeah. Yeah. So you the look. first time you played, you thought if you didn't do a navigate order, you didn't have to move. Yes. Yeah. Forget about the tone, because, yeah. Newtonian physics works when it wants to in Star Wars. Hmm. Okay, so I've got full red, full blue front arc. Oh, yeah, and that's I'm looking forward to it. Going to that. That's who did I leave my hair? They've got some band aids in. Four crit horse, one hit, mm -hmm. and one accuracy. Jumps. Accuracy. Uh, now let's see what I've got. Boom to critical. Mm -hmm. uh, first two damage cards dealt. To the defender by this attack of dealt face up. Okay. So hopefully. Good position shot. So that one comes out. Um, and which uh, defense icons have you got? I think. Uh, I've got two brace and one evade. Uh, can you use the evade at that range? I can make you reroll one dice. I might as well lock that one out. Yes. Good play. So we've got two braces. Okay, so what's the total so damage? Look that. So four damage. Okay, on the brace to knock it down to two. That'll be so one. Sh uh, one shield, blown, and one point of damage, which comes through face up due to your special effect. Point defense failure. When attacking a squadron, before you roll your attack pool, remove one die of your choice. And four hit points remaining. Because we remember. Can we get all three crowded, isn't it? They're actually surprisingly manoeuvrable as well, mm -hmm. these Star Destroyers. Yes, it's a little bit crazy. The last one I played with wasn't it, yeah. This is Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's still got away from me. from the back. It's still got away from me. How does that work? I couldn't catch it. <coughs> That's a big, big fucking engine. That's what. <laughs> Any other ships for you to do? Well, I do have one more Raider who mm -hmm. has got uh, an engineering. Bank and engineering. Get me duct tape. And speed two, I think. Yeah, we're going to cut across him for now. We're going to make it in range next turn. We'll see. So, is that all your ships played through? That's all ships done. Right. So That's a bit biting, isn't it? All the mm. squadrons. Yeah. Just fine. Has anyone got a rogue keyword? That's always handy. No bastard's got a rogue keyword. Oh, that's always handy. Uh, so I'll fly the ghost to do all my cheap ghost that doesn't seem to have a rogue keyword in. Might as well at least try and fly some interference around the CR90 here. Yeah, it tends to be a character more yeah. than a rogue, doesn't it? I'm sure there's more bomber up here. Oh, yes, nice. Then that's your game. I was wondering where the scourge came from, actually. I've, I've got a a scourge. Yeah. I've got a I think it's Jedi Knight on play at PS2. Oh god, wow. Um it's it's weird that they find these these cool ships in these odd yeah. obscure games. 
But I like that. That's good. Um, you're a PC gamer normally, aren't you? Yes. I Jim. think Steam and GOG have got a lot of the old Star Wars stuff. Okay. Uh, with built-in emulation, so oh, we're shooting the machines. I should look for the original X-Wing and TIE Fighter, because I've lived on those on PC in the days. Yeah, I've got, I think GOG and Steam have got them, and they've, um, in, they're emulated to run on modern machines. Nice. Yeah, definitely buy them. Um, you can like Star Wars on the Mega Drive. Um, the best one is still... Uh, uh, what's it called? Rogue Squadron on the no, Nintendo oh, 64. Yeah. Oh, because he was great. It was, yeah. it was basically after them, Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to move the TIE Fighters in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack with the uh, interceptors. Mm -hmm. You might be in trouble. We do have the swarm keyword. While attacking a squadron engaged with another squadron, you may reroll one die. Cool. So I've got four blue dice with one reroll. We get some X wing, X wing down. Yeah. Okay, that's my squadrons. I've got no more squadrons. It's not just a cool and hip thing to say. I'm actually rubbish. <laughs> get back here. Stop pretending you work on that asteroid hill. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's all my squadrons. Take another solid one. Well, shift through. <laughs> uh, if you've got any defence markers, uh, if you flip to red, you can pop them back around to green again. Uh, any cards you've tapped, refresh. And uh, on to turn three, squadrons activate on blue. Oh. Well, we're going to action a bit earlier, I thought. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it could get a bit tasty oh, now because we're, I, we're all in the mix. There's all sorts of lasers going yeah. to do. Quite interesting. So this is going to be command so dice, but it's command dice. I'm going to activate uh, the MC-80 first, because I feel like it's in my best interest to get a shot off. Okay. So, Sounds like a plan. Yep. Uh, so the order I've given the MC-80 is concentrate fire, which I'm very much looking forward to cashing in immediately. That's Dave, not a hummingbird. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's squeaky, yeah, squeaky so, Imperial Raider type. Yes. So, um, unsurprisingly, my first shot is going to be um, a front volley um, straight into the rear, which Ooh. is two red. I'm using Concentrate Fire so I can button that up to three red. Quite tasty. Two. Well, it's better than nothing at all. Oh, what speed are you travelling at? Uh, speed three. Oh, okay. I've got four battery turrets. While attacking the ship with a higher speed than yours, I can add one blue dice. Ooh. That's not very nice. Four. Oh, yep. Effective there. Three hits. Except for not. Uh, okay, so I will evade uh, long range. Cancel one dice. Cancel one attack die. Um, Any one that hits, I guess, will do. So I'll cancel the critical. Mm -hmm. I think I'll brace as well. I'll take the brace. Looks at the end of one. Yeah, one. one. I'll take like one down which I'll be hit, which is as your rear. So it's okay. one shield remaining on your rear. Cool. Most of my guns are coming out of the broadsides, unfortunately. Yeah, so I was quite pleased about that. Yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. I was kind of hoping for more. Sure. Yeah, I mean, you played your hand, you dealt, didn't you? You're going to try and bring the starboard shield around the yeah, plow, in, plow into me like I'm some sort of asteroid field. <laughs> It's gonna hold over there. It's gonna hold over there for these rocks. Yeah, that's it for my MCAT, so over to the Empire. I'll light you on one of Bobby's dongs. Okay, I'm gonna go. Let's get a big guy, because I think he's, he's in there. So the Relentless has got a squadron order. You've got quite a lot of targets to choose from. Uh, if I have a flight commander, so during your activation, you can resolve your command after you execute a manoeuvre. So I can execute the squadron command after I've manoeuvred rather than before. Um, so I've got the rapid launch bays. For each squadron you would activate this command, you may place one of your set aside squadrons within distance one. But it cannot move this activation. This so be I think I'm going to fire first, then move, and then use the squadron activation okay. afterwards. And see how things pan out. So, hopefully we've got one at each. Well, what am I 
don't give me for the. It's a blocked shot. I use one dice. Of your choice. Okay. But so you only, only got reds anyway. Oh, so. I don't only have reds. That's not very nice. Uh, this side I definitely have red and blue at short range. Yep. Okay. Do the front of the MC80 first. It's four red dice. That's three hits. This is on your good side. Mm. I shall brace to reduce it to two. And I shall also redirect to take it on the port side. Okay. I'll take one on the port side, one on the front of the thing. Okay. Okay. Port side. Port volley is two red, two blue. And it's also going to be straight to the front of the thing. Maybe on B. Uh, that's three hits and two accuracies. Ooh. Close, medium, eh? Yeah. So what have you got? It looks pretty close to you. Are you close, medium, or are you close? It's close. Okay, cool. Yeah. I can't uh, evade at all then. And what, uh, what have you got? Um, I can't evade, I've got two braces. Uh, I'll lock out a brace. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll use that to lock out the other brace, so... Okay, have you got two accuracies? Yeah, I've got two accuracies. Yeah. So, so that'll be three damage. Three hits straight into the mm -hmm. front. Yeah. Uh, shield's blown. I've had better games, but they were not harder. Spotty, <laughs> isn't it? Eh? <laughs> okay. Um, you, you, you know where that Star Destroyer is going after this, don't you? Yeah. It's just, just sail off into the distance. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to pick up a few asteroids on the way first. Port on slightly yeah. Okay. So that's getting it. straight towards more Z95s is where he's heading, and then, whoa. Remember them kids? No. So they're just called wings, then? They're not fair, just X wings without the S foils, yeah. Trainers. Aeroplanes. Yeah, I think, I think there was a there was a, a list in X wing that used a lot of them that was quite effective. Yeah, apparently. okay. But because uh, they're very very cheap. Mm. Oh, I, I, there's a friend of ours, Amir, has been on the show a few times. Whenever he's playing, I used to take nine of the cheapest TIE fighters you could have because that was as many as you could fit in a 100 point building and <laughs> didn't know how to play against them, just swarmed him all every time. And he's a very, very good X-Wing player, but mm. that, that was, he didn't factor on the fact I'm an Orc player. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I now use my squadron <coughs> activation to place mm -hmm. my oh, yes. squadrons. Here they come. Rapid launch base. Oh, there's more. Uh, within distance one. Well, that's, that's Swarm these, I think. Okay. Um, oh, distance one. Let's pop two over here then, I think. So we activate your own blues. Let's make sure they're yes. all right. So blue. Do we can still activate this turn. Believe so, I'll check it. Okay. It has got a lot of holes. Miami. That's. It all comes to party there, hasn't it? There's probably not all squadrons as well. I think full complement is eight squadrons for a nuclear star destroyer. Let us know, kids. You, you'll be the ones doing mm -hmm. it up on the internet. Uh, okay. Uh, for each squadron you would activate this command, you must instead place one of your set aside squadrons within distance one. It can't move this activation. Can so it move? move but can say. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. cool. So you can basically just deploy anywhere within range one of that ship. Blimey. But you've got to state which ship they're loaded on at the start of the game. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so is that the Star Destroyer then? Yes. Oh, jolly good. For a moment there, I was worried. <laughs> uh, I'm going to activate my CR 90 Krillin Corvette. And the first thing I'm going to do is yeah, I've gone for a navigate order, yeah. but I'm picking up this. So here, so yeah, we're on the scoreboard. We're all going to die, but we're on the scoreboard. Hey. I'm going to cash in that navigate order rather than save it as well. Uh, I think I'm going, to do, I'm going to bump the speed up as well. I'm going to go for, I'm going for ludicrous speed. Mm -hmm. Ludicrous speed is going to play it. Shoot first. Uh, oh yeah, I should shoot first, shouldn't yeah. I? Thank yes. you, Dave. There must um, be something Sean you can shoot. Yeah, there definitely yeah. is. So you've got two. Uh, I'm going to starboard and front into your port, I think. Mm. Okay, let's do that then. Yeah. Might as well. Um, the problem with the Empire is you don't play defensive tokens a lot. 
We'll give James Cope. Right. They're slowly up with lots of wood pens. <laughs> oh, they're going to shoot shoot at us. I wonder what I have that I can use defensively. Ah, oh, nothing. Okay. Okay. We've all gone for offensive. Okay, so I'll do my uh, starboard round first. Okay. Two hits. Uh, I'm going to use Dodonna's Pride special ability, which is I have to cash in a blue crit to do it, which is what I rolled. Cancel all attack dice and deal one face up damage card to the defender. Ooh, well, that's different. Oh, that's cheeky. Uh, structural damage. Deal one face down damage card to your ship and flip this card face down. Now, that is what I expected from the some asteroids. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you were really unlucky. Yeah. Um, I've never so seen someone pull that card before. And come to the front of my Corvette into the port side again. Oh, no, that's it. That's, that's a lot. Uh, that's four hits. Ooh. Okay, what have we got? Oh, Draven, he's good. All shoes to the life. Spoilers for Star Wars comic issue 54. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so distance for evade is... You are close. Yeah, you can't use evade at close okay, range. That sucks. Uh, I'll brace there. Mm -hmm. Brace for his two. two. Uh, and I'll take a redirect. Okay. To spin that round. So you're going into. Into port. Port side. So I'll take one from there. And. Are you seriously? Uh, well, I don't know that's wrong. That's really one. Uh, I'll flip it to the front. So I've got two on the front. Right, so that was quite a devastating volley off my uh, Korean Corvette there. Mm. Is I'm now decided to go at ludicrous speed, so travelling at speed four. Wow. And uh, I'll get an extra click as well because I've gone for. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna go there. Put a nice little handbrake turn like that. That's the ones we can stop on. Yes, and uh, when you stop on the, um, the uh, space station, uh, I can discard one of my face up or face down damage cards. Mm. Um, yes, yeah, so I've managed to recover my point defence earlier. So that was an unexpected bonus, I didn't put my nav point directly there. Unfortunately there is a radar pointing directly at me. Yes. Uh, and that's over to you Dave. Well, the opportunity is there, why not take it? Let's uh, attack with the, the Raider 1. Mm -hmm. So Raider 1, the Impetuous, has a manoeuvre order. I think I'm going to use to slow down, so we'll be travelling at speed one. Mm -hmm. Let's put brakes on. Yes. He's pointing directly at another ship. Okay, so fire first, mm -hmm. ask questions later. Close range? Yep, absolutely. That's two blue, two black. Oh, sorry, two blue, two black. No, it could be quite unpleasant. I'm not quite sure what else you could do though. That's four hit, or two hits, two crits. Okay. Cool. Too close to me to evade. You got any special crits you want to apply? Uh, black critical. I haven't got black critical. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. So I don't so have anything else I can apply to that. Black critical sounds like a DC crossover. <laughs> 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 okay, so it's four hits on there. Um, I'm going to redirect. I'm going to have to redirect. So I'll redirect to soak one on there. You've lost all your braces. I've got a brace. Oh, so what did you do that? Two hits there and one hit gets through. Which is going to be critical damage. Injured crew, choose and discard one of your defence tokens and flip this card face down. I'm going to get rid of one of my evades. Cheers, that Dave, very helpful. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. I am, I am the evil one, you know? Yes, it's about to crash into you now. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so we're down to speed one. Mosey on directly ahead there. And being the impetuous. Oh, sorry. I should have done that beforehand. Right there. At the end of your attack step. Sorry. At the end of your attack step, choose one of your hull zones. You may perform an attack against one enemy squadron from that hull zone. No, I'm not within range of squadrons. Okay. That's fine. Get a little free shot. Okay. Get that there. Yeah. Yeah, I can get extra shots at squadrons, but they're not really. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think the ghost is in trouble anyway. That's kind of what it does, to be fair. Okay, your activation. Mm -hmm. Well, I've only got 
display and let me on base still to go. And I'd be a fool if I did not cash in this squadron marker I banked on a previous turn, which will allow me to activate it work, allow me to move and shoot with two squadrons. Nice. I think the first thing I'm gonna have to do is use that H6 bomber to fly directly up the rear end. Now it's gonna engage with the TIE fighters. Actually not first of all, these Y wings are gonna engage these TIE fighters. Have to go for it. Yeah, two blue on those TIE fighters. For no, no absolutely, absolutely nothing. Why did I bother bringing Y wings with me? In fact, why did I bother turning up at all? It's a stupid rebellion <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, so my H6 bomb's going here, it would try and do a bombing run on the Star Destroyer if the Wyverns had done their job correctly, but obviously it's now engaged with the TIE Fighters, so I have to engage with TIE Fighters. Oh. Yeah, um, so it's two blue on the TIE Fighters again. And I feel like I'm done with this rebellion, it's a stupid idea. Yeah, probably. Yep, that totally. was blue dice. Totally fucked it. Blue dice are Yeah, it's not weak as well. The blues are technically the easiest to hit with because there's no blanks on them. Yeah. There's just a lot of icons that are useless for what you use blues mm. for. Yeah. Uh, so it leaves me Yeah, they generate the idle still. damage in the big ships. But yeah. yeah. Uh, but my Nebulon B does still have concentrate fire, so it's uh, not all is lost. Um, in fact, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do an anti squadron round out of my port side to hit both TIE fighter squadrons. Um, on this one. Yeah, one point of damage. Yeah, on this one, no, nothing. Uh, that was fun. And I will then use my front up the rear end of a Star Destroyer for three reds, and I'll use Concentrate Fire to bump up to four three red. red. Nice. And close as well. What speed are you travelling at? Speed two. Okay. Uh, then no, that's all I've got. Two hits. I'll brace. To reduce that to one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just one on the rear, isn't it? Yep. Bloody two shields on the rear. Call yourself an imperial cast. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I have concerns about this war. Your token? Yeah. Uh, he's been displaced, so you need to drop him back down and touch him with my base. Uh, that works. Uh, that's over to you. Okay, so I've got the. I'll do the gun. I'm played out, so you want to do the rest of your squadron straight through, that's fine. Okay, I'll do the bloody head first. Who's got concentrate fire orders? Huh. I don't think he's going to be able to concentrate any fire. Uh, no, he's got two red on the front, so. Uh, so we'll have anti squadron mm -hmm. there, and then. Yeah, we'll that one. just about hit with the reds, but oh, no, really? concentrate might just do it. Do we count as obscuring, or I think I can hit through there without going around no, the base? Fine. Okay. Do have to check that I know the rules occasionally. Yeah, so we're only going to be embarrassed. Not ourselves questions questions me. They just correct me in the comments. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're doing the anti squadron to single blue. Oh, that's it. Shots off, yeah. aren't he? Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Okay, and two reds. Uh, sorry, three reds concentrate fire. Mm -hmm. Two hits. Two hits. Which which arc are you hitting? Uh, on the uh, red. Uh, no, on the starboard. Starboard point. Yeah, yeah right. Where there are no shields. I'll evade to cancel one of those, and I'll just take the point of damage after that. Yeah, two hit points remaining. Okay, we've got mover two. Pretty much going to be straight ahead. And I've got the, the other radar. So I'll activate the radar. It's got concentrate fire orders. I'll reveal his order. I will also take a token. Mm -hmm. It's very, very messy up there. Yeah. A lot of TIE fighters appeared from out of nowhere. Mm. That's quite a move, actually, isn't it? It's basically just uh, he's engaged and just, just drops down. That's yeah. really clever, actually. <coughs> I want to put one on the SSD. Yes. Mm. Let's check that. So what's the DV behind your base? Uh, you may set aside a number of friendly squadrons up to your squadron value. Yeah. 
Yeah, so the SSD can probably pack a few. So yeah, but so you just yeah. you just wait till you engage, or is it is it has to be on the second game turn or? No, but no, no, you want to be launched as soon as you engage. Start. You have to but obviously it behooves you to keep them in the hang as long as you yeah, can. Yeah, you have to use the squadron though. command. So when right. you use the squadron command, then you just drop the squadron. They're out, yeah. Yeah, the last, I've done it previously and it's been really ineffective because I've dropped but, them out, yeah. not been able to move them. But yeah. This time I haven't had to move them. I've mm -hmm. yeah, no, I'm just looking at what the Superstar Destroyer's squadron is down. Oh, it's going to be six at least, if not eight. Six. Six squadrons just dropping out like that. Yeah. yeah. Six interceptors would be nice. Yeah, I suppose you've got a choice of what you pack. Yeah. You drop a load of Type Bonders out. Mm. Okay. Or you have a Type One. He's dropped over for that. So, does that qualify? Yeah, he's technically a squadron, yeah. Oh, okay. You have a tiny, the, the single ships, if they're on a squadron base, they're classed as a squadron. Oh, so even that, in the ghost, ghost, ghost is classed as a squadron, yeah, for all, for all rule purposes as a squadron. Mm. And therefore, help them. Okay, so I'm going to use the starboard arc to attack your front arc. Okay. The MCA, short range or close range. Mm -hmm. And then front arc, I've got, I can hit your port side uh, with three blue. So I'm going to use my concentrate fire on the MCA. Okay. Uh, and it's any dice from that port, isn't it? Yes. So I will add. Uh, let's see what weapon I have given. I'll add a blue. So I've got uh, two blue, one black. Okay. The front arc, the MCA. Uh, it's three hits and a knockout. The wrong. I've got critical, but they're always on the wrong dice. Yes. <laughs> two hits, crits, a knockout. Uh, what have you got? Uh, contain, brace, and redirect. Uh, let's lose the brace, I think. Okay, okay. cool. So many points of damage is that in total? Three. Three. Well, I'm not going to redirect anywhere near my starboard side, am I? Uh, I will use a redirect to take two on my port side and one for front. And Ooh. the shields are still holding. Okay. And your second volley was? So, the into the three. Uh, the Nibble 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 Nibble. to a port side yeah. Uh, so I've got three blue out of the front oh, arc. Then. Two hits and a knockout. Okay. Do you knock out as well? What can I lock? Um, I'll lock the evade. Okay, cool. So that's two hits. So I'll brace to make that one. Shields blow. Now it's my time of repairs. So I'm moving three. I think I'm going to cash in my move token mm -hmm. and drop that down to two because yep. otherwise I'm going to be plowing into somebody at some point. It's a good thing you told Barry to put that break on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't chop that bloody handbrake, Barry. So I'm going to kind of put the uh, Star Destroyer, the ISD, to, to shield him a little bit, but I'll put it, put it in the way of the mm -hmm. token, so I don't think I'm going to keep that token next time. So. So your ship's done? Uh, yeah. Cool. So I'm going to so onto you, Scorchers. Mm -hmm. You can do it. You can't do any more damage. Yeah, if anyone <laughs> can find a way, I can. Uh, well, I'm going to go for... Uh, the ghost is still engaged with these TIE fighters, so I'm going to take the first shot on those. I love the way they're all collected together here. That's three blues from my anti-squadron. Nothing! I'm so glad I turned up today. At this end of the table, I'm in what a lot of wank. There's <laughs> just, just an appalling amount of wank going on here. Um, these Y-Wings are going to engage these uh, damaged TIE fighters. And the Y-Wings anti-squadron is two, two blue, I think. Uh, two blue, so marginally, marginally better. 
Or one point of damage on most type of foes. You can help. That's yours, it's you uh, It's more than Mythical, I think. Oh, he's not going to do so. He's already taken two damage. Yeah. Oh, Has he got any. After you move. Got a counter? No, just after you move. No, okay, cool. It's over to you. Scorpion's activated on blue. Okay, so they're, they're still. They're still engaged, you know. Okay. Uh, well, for now, I'll move the interceptors in mm -hmm. and attack with. Okay. Tie fighters. And then the tie fighters have three with their swarm tactics. They can reroll one dice. Three points damage. Just another three. The dice squads are definitely with me today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and your second squadron? Uh, so that'd be both of them. Yep. So they attack, they lift. Oh, okay, that's cool. two. This is going very well. Um, Something dramatic. Oh, well, don't worry, it'll be amazing and sexy when it does happen. <laughs> Remember, that's your game. I think Mauler is going to have to make an attack, so they're both engaged with. Yes, I think both of them are So, if I, if I fire... Um, and my Y-wings have a keyword heavy, which is you do not prevent engaged squadrons from attacking ships or moving. Oh, that's right, yeah. We're not fast enough to stop a TIE fighter from doing what it wants to do. Yeah, they are there to kind of screen the Y-wings, so... Uh, okay, more than they'll attack mm -hmm. the Y-wing squadrons, three blue, with a reroll. Another three hits. Oh, that's... I'm embarrassed now. No, no, they've got plenty of hit points. Got three hit points left. And I'll do the same with the other squadron. Yeah, yeah. okay. Who will get exactly the same because they have swarm. Two. Two. That's number two. Draw four hit points remaining. Cheers. Uh, I'm played out. Okay. Um, I think we're in a position to make a bombing run against the MC8, yeah? My tie bomber squadron, huge one yeah, black dice. Uh, the tie fires. Oh no, we're just out by like a, a couple of millimeters. So yeah, you're fine. So you can, you can make your attack. Though. Okay, so the bombers, uh, single black dice. Um, you pick an arc, or do you have to take the arc there? And touch an arc. arc. Yeah, but they've got line of sight too, so you can go from my port or my. No, so you can go from the starboard on my front. I'll go to starboard. Mm -hmm. That's two. Uh, oh, so it's. Yeah. Um, the bomb that's one, one, that one. counts, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's two points of damage, one which is crit. If you want to get, I'll take it. I've got, I hope the tie bomber has a bomb with it. Uh, yeah. It's your criticals. Adds one damage to the damage total mm -hmm. to resolve the critical effect. Uh, point defense failure. When attacking a ship squadron before you roll your attack pool, remove one dice of your choice. Sounds familiar. Yeah, it's yeah. going well. Sure, just fix that. Five hit points left on the MC80. Well. Wow. And your TIE Fighters? I think you need some smoke coming out. So, can TIE Fighters attack as well? Yeah, go for yeah. the same arc if you want. Yeah. That's one blue. One blue damage. Yeah. Ooh. Four, points, four hit points remaining. Uh, any other squadrons for you to pick? No, squadrons are not Cool. Okay. Uh, any defense markers that have tapped to red, flip back round to green. Any cards you've had to tap, flip back round. And on to turn four. Squadrons activate on red. And assign command dials. Ian, how did that turn the, the that side of the table? That's quite bloody, isn't it? I would yeah. kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> The, the dropping the squadron thing has really turned the tide on this, hasn't mm -hmm. it? It's, and you're all kind of all in one area of the, of the map as well, aren't you? Yeah. That's, it's really good, really good. I think you've been very unlucky, but I also think Dave's been inspired by this. Yeah, I've had some inspired dice wrong. Yeah, no, it's really good, mate. I don't normally take out squadrons that quickly. No, it's quite a good card to keep, that one, I think. I don't suppose the rebels have got the equivalent of it. Well, I mean, they can hang by it. Mm. 
Sergeant, how many players have you ever played in league, though? Uh, rapid launch players, no? No, no that's no. cool then. Yeah, yeah. In fact, the picture is Angles. The picture on the card is uh, okay, Angles cool. launches. So yeah, we'll have to try that out next time. Yeah, but is, is, is timing you right? Otherwise, you're going to end up with these fighters trying yeah. to change something. But uh, the Rebels have got some good fighters, but they don't. It, 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 it's good, a good Star Wars build in that the Empire can sink a load of points to a bunch of no-name TIE fighters and they're really dangerous. Mm. Whereas Rebels have to sink them into two or well, three good squads. It's that swarm thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. better off. Whereas Rebels, the jobber X-Wings are useless, but if you sink a similar number of points into the star, yeah. Biggs and Luke on the table, yeah. then yeah, they'll run rings around the TIE fighters. Mm. Okay. All you all just done, Dave? Yes. Okay. Right. This is going to be a change this game, this round, I think. Yeah. It might be right. I'm going to activate the Corellian Corvette. He's going for a navigate order. I'm hoping I'm within range one of that little marker there. Oh, come on! So I think I was underestimating range one as well. Yeah. I'm miles out. <laughs> no, no chance of picking that up, but it was nice to get some repair. Can you get any repair? Can you get another repair? No, it's when you land on it. Dang. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, well, like fair, up, to be yeah. fair, you're going to be light speed away from it. That's true. Yeah. But I will cash in my uh, previously banked squadron order to allow me to make move an attack with one squadron, for which I will pick this Y Wing squadron here, who is. No, I forgot the other one actually. Yeah, I'm going to go for this one and take a pot shot on Mauler Miffel no, because I can. Uh, which is two blue for uh, fuck all. No, no, no. Nope. So glad I've ever turned it up today. Just, why would I? What, what, who still uses Y wings? Um, I suppose I'd better try and shoot some shit. No. Um, What's what? the weaker? Not definitely the Raider. Uh, I'll just do my starboard into the front of the Raider, Stunning. all red and blue. Yeah. What's your defensive capabilities on the Raider? Defense on the Raider, uh, I've got two evades and a brace. Oh, okay, I'll lock out the brace then, and then one point of damage. Yeah. Uh, I'll take one point. So, one of the front shields? Yes. So. Yeah, the problem with evaders is no good at this range. Mm -hmm. And I can get front onto front as well. Uh, or one blue, two red. It's going to be like to make a difference. And I'll lock out the brace again and two crits. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Um, yeah, nothing I'll do about that. I'll just take the, uh, the uh... front shield's blown and one critical damage. Uh, coolant discharge. Only one attack you perform each round can target a ship. Ah. I'm going to drop my speed, I think. I think that seems wise. So I've come slamming a bit there. And uh, yeah, that's where uh, my move ends. Right, that's my Corvette done, so over to the Empire. I'm in somewhat of a quandary at this one. Well, which one to do first? Yeah, mm. I think I'm going to have to do the Raider. The so if, 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 if I, you know, the, 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 um, From the, the one that can pick up victory points. Yeah. If I don't move him, it could get absolutely unmullered. There's going to be some shots coming your way. Yeah, I was kind of toying with the idea of opening up with the mm. um, ISD and trying to take out everything before it can shoot it, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, uh, so Raider 2, Admiral Titus. Given him a manoeuvre, current at speed 2, he can add, add an extra yaw to his move. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think I'm going to move him up to 3. Um, but first of all, I'll shoot. Yes, that would help. Yeah, well, it'll help me. Uh, so, front arc is. I mean, you put me out of my fucking misery at this point. <laughs> uh, 2 blue and 1 black. Yes. Into there. Oh, 3 blue, isn't it? Sorry, three blue one. Yeah, back. yeah. It's just help me along with. Yeah. It's amazing though. All you've lost is a, a, a squadron. Yeah. 
It's not been really any messy. No, I just can't, it's, I can't believe my dice rolls. It's, you've been really unlike it, and, and so there was a really bicey card you yeah, took. I think I, I did, even when I was setting them up, I was like, this squadron selection is not good, why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> Could have been Luke. This is uh, manually done, or did you spin it on the uh, s Spun and then tinkered with. Mm -hmm. so you, I, I, I ran regenerated as, as a starting point. Mm. So, can I hit that on the... Uh, what's that on the port side? Uh, you can do rear port, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. It's so. only a single blue. I'll right, just do that. Yeah, I'll do that. So, I'll do that one first. Yeah, okay. Well oh, done. That's one a hit. hit. Yeah. Um, three blue, one black. Mm -hmm. At Nebulon B. Blue. We blue not two, isn't it? Oh, oh, black. Which is four hits. Oh. Four. Four hits. I'm afraid. Four is close range, I take it. That is at extremely close range. Yeah. Um, I'll brace to make that two, but that's all I can do. Uh, two points of damage. It's just gone straight through, isn't it? Yeah, any crits? No. Just small mercies. Three hit points remaining. How's okay. your pride, Nebby? Better than yours. <laughs> try and thread this. It's not maps that's gone right apart when you picked up one of those shiny things. Mm. Oh, no, I'm going to be. Oh, sensible one. I'm going to be in collision with your uh, Corvette. Oh. They're both after the same thing. Oh, after all that, I'm just sweet for Star Destroyer. Okay. Yeah, so the end point. What speed are you travelling now? Three. Yeah, you're gonna get out of the way. Yeah, so I never stop there, yeah? Yeah, just don't want to be too close, isn't it? Yeah, so stop at speed speed well, one. So if you're too close, right? you're gonna hit Vanibulon B. <laughs> yeah, you just stay where you are. Yeah. And you and Vanibulon B both take a face down damage. Okay. Okay, that really didn't work at all. So it's just stops you. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately you're gonna be in close range with the free game. Yeah. Nebulon B has two hit points remaining. How many points you got left on radar now? Uh, three remaining. Straw fans falling all that way. Here's a turn fans loose loop. Right, let's get sense on. Mm. It's all very well having the extra ships, but I'm not getting the first shots. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to go for the Blue Bear. Yeah. I'll, I'll push it. For it pops. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll maybe yeah. I should have gone with the ISD first. Yeah. I'm going to cash in my previously banked uh, engineering order. I can, I can grow a shield back, that's what I can do, which is what I shall do. So I'm going to recover one point on my. Really going to hit your legs. That's what I'm trying to work out. The, the, obviously, the Star Destroyer can yeah. set off a molly, wouldn't it? So yeah. I'll redo it on my starboard side, I think. Um, yeah, this is, this is a lot of fun for me. Uh, I'll do port into the rear of the Star Destroyer. Blue and red. Hit the crit. Hasn't got much of a shield, that Star Destroyer. How fast is the Star Destroyer going? Star Destroyer going at two. Okay, cool. I don't think it's got much of a shield in the rear. No. Yes, yeah, so it's. Uh, Hitting the crate into the rear of a star destroyer. Okay, I'll redirect one. So that's one gone. And uh, I'll take one. You want to type? Yeah. Just popped its shield at the back. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll do two reds into the back of a star destroyer. Oh, not the radar. No, I'm going to see if I can slow that star destroyer down. Two hits. Ouch. Uh, okay, I'll take a brush to make that one. One point of damage to the star destroyer. How many hit points you got there? Uh, ten. No, that's all right then. Remember, they're all covered for you. I didn't know if he was going to try and pop the radar. So. Um, I wouldn't be able to pop the radar, but at least I can get it mm -hmm. cool a little bit there. Skirk, get out of a pissing way. Right, and it's over to you. I'm just going to choke down with some packaging material. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'll activate the ISD. Yes, it is. Unsurprisingly, concentrate fire orders. That was well planned. 
I do have one less activation count that you give it every turn, which is helpful. Uh, obviously front arc and rear arc. We'll do the rear arc. Close range? Yep, it's close. Yeah, it's close. That's two blue uh, and red. That's the Krillian Corvette, yeah. Yeah, Corvette, sorry. Yeah, I'll use Concentrate Fire on the rear. Mm -hmm. And I'll add a red. Okay. So we've got two blue, two red. That's two lockouts, one hit, one crit. Two lockouts? Mm. Oh, I've got two defense capabilities. You can lock them both out. It's unbelievable. I've got, I've got skills that give me mm -hmm. extras on the blue and they'll um, get the wrong icons at the wrong time. Um, yeah, I'm also lock, lock, lock both out. Mm -hmm. Set the hit and the crit. Yeah, hit the crit. Okay. Yeah. On the front, that's something. It's shield slides. Yeah. And your second volley. Okay, second volley front arc. Mm -hmm. Four blue, four red. Into the MC80. Into the MC80. Cool. Um, I think I can only hit front arc. Well, I say you've got front position there fairly well, so front to front. Okay. I'm not going to blame you. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what we got. So. Four hits, one crit, one lockout. Uh, okay, so I've got a skill where I can uh, spend one die to change a die to a face with the critical icon. Mm -hmm. So is that any dice? So I could take off. Yep. So you remove one dice. So I can remove one. Yep. Change dice to a face with a crit. And change that one to an extra crit. Yep. Okay. Um, the defense capabilities are contain, brace, and redirect twice. I'll lock out the. Brace. Okay. So much damage is that? Okay. So that's uh, four hits, two crits. Damage. Okay. I'm going to use electronic countermeasures, which I tap and means I can use brace even though you locked it out. Oh. So I shall use brace to knock that down to two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to use brace to knock that down to three. So it's three hits incoming, which I'll take. Front shield's blowing one point of damage. Depowered armament, you cannot attack at long range. No, it doesn't even. It's yeah. academic in this particular mm -hmm. game, I think. Five. At this point, three hit points remaining. It's all going well. Okay, it's, it's, been, quite, it's been quite a fight. Okay. Mm. Move, I've got a move of two. Uh, but I will again spend my manoeuvre token to reduce that to a one. I'm sure we'll displace all of my TIE fighters. Mm -hmm. And the asteroid field. Nope, make sure we avoid that. I'm good at that. Well done, mate. Okay. Yeah, you need to place both of those both across. Right. Let's get serious. Well, quite. All right, on to my MC80. Which I'm going to use. Uh, I'm also going to cash in my engineering token, um, which will let me regrow a shield. So I'm going to sink the shield back into my starboard side. And I'm going to activate both the Z95 and the B Wing. First of all, I'm going to have a Z95 attack for TIE Fighters, which is three red. You're also engaged with the B wings, so I get swarm as well. So yeah. I've got three reds with one reroll. Nice. Three hits on the TIE Fighter. Oh, feeling death, nice. Nice. Which is then gone. They've gone bang, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. To be and my B wings will make a bombing run on the Star Destroyer. It's now going to be engaged with the. Fighters, if I do that, won't I? I'll just do a bombing run on this port side from where I am. That'll do, pig. So, 
Hopefully we can have Bomber and I've got Blue Back. Oh, two points of damage on your port side. Any defence capabilities you want to use? Um, burn. Uh, I've got Brace and I've okay. got Brace. Knocks it down to one. What shields have I got? Probably got two on this side. What about on the front? Four. Okay, I'll use a redirect and one on the front. Okay, so one point of shield damage on the front. Cool. Um, my MC8, you'll do a starboard volley into the front, which is close range. So it's two blue. You don't want to blow red. that too? Sorry? Sorry? Later. I can do two shots. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Four. Four or two red. What speed are you travelling at? Speed one. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do anything. What defence capabilities you got? Um, I've got three in red, uh, two redirects and a brace in red, and a contain. contain. I should lock out both of your redirects. Uh, three points of damage into your front. We've got three shields at the moment. Okay, I'll lose the three shields. Okay, nice. Okay. Uh, think I've got it. Yeah? Yeah, I've got front to front as well. Oh, nice. So, uh, one blue, two reds into front of the super of the city, Imperial class star destroyer. For what defence capabilities you got over there? Uh, two redirect, brace and contain. I shall use my uh, SW7 ion batteries to turn oh no it's got to be a blue one. Bollocks. Yeah. Uh, ignore that. Don't be suffering with that. Yeah. Um, Then I shall look at the contain. It's a hit in the crit. Okay. Uh, can I still redirect? You, even though it's, there's no shields on the front? Uh, yes, you can. So I can but redirect. obviously, it'll burn it. Yeah, I'll burn one and redirect. Okay. Uh, I think onto the starboard side if I still want. You've got three on starboard, two on port. Yeah, I'll, I'll redirect one to the. To the so take, to take one and take one. Yeah. yeah. I can't, can't obs that, can I? Uh, yeah, you have to take at least one. Yeah, take at least one of the swords. Yeah. Okay, so it's um, it's, it's a crit. critical. Yeah. Mm. So the has yeah. The dice rolls up. Uh, injured crew, choose and discard one of your defense tokens. Then flip this card face Ooh. down. Ah, use that one. This is burns Typical ones, I've just burnt one. Yeah, yeah that's, um, that's really all proof that is. I think I'll do the other redirect. Nah, no, I've, I've hit you. So we're both going to take one face down damage as well. Bonk again. Okay. Through your space, you're so crazy. Okay. Get okay. very close to range. Oh, I'm going to have me. Eight hit points left. You have to use it maximum effect. Okay. Uh, so the Raider 1, I'll give him a maneuver action. I'm going to move him up to speed 2. Um, I don't think we might be able to get a shot off. I've got one black on that side. Okay. I've got a single blue dice against the rear of the CRH. That's right. So I'm not going to hit that. Uh, or let's see, far front east quarter as well. Yep. Okay, I've just got blue and blue. Yeah, one blue, single blue dice, one mm -hmm. of them. That'd be ours. That's it. What range was that? That's uh, at uh, medium. Okay, I'll use an evade to make you re roll that. That's it. Yeah. That's still one crit damage. 40 count measures, can't spend red defence tokens, one hit point remaining. Anything else for the raider? Uh, 
I said, move him. Uh, where am I getting rid of the hairs? So we've got move two. I can use one, two, two. And then a big old arc to come back into the fight. You're going to have to make a judgment, does that count as being... Oh, he's got, he's got a repair I can use. Yeah, so. that's fine. Okay, can you repair criticals with that? Or is it just... Uh, I believe it's either. Uh, just got one of your face up or face down damage cards. Yeah. Okay, cool. Discharge repaired. Okay. Nice. And then I've got to use the gladiator as well. Mm-hmm. So, I've got uh, uh, Yeah, I'm all played out. I've given him concentrate fire waters, so I'm going to move to. Don't know if he can reach. No, he's got black dice. Set this one up as a real close assault. Yeah. And he's not getting any close assault, which. Sucks. No, it's like playing Spaceman on PlayStation with my brother. It was always just <laughs> somehow turned the guy with a missile launcher into the melee of a guy. Just brainy orcs with a missile launcher. Uh, you met my brother. So I could do He threw his head today. And then his squadron. Can you do concentrate fire on empty squadron? Yes. Uh, or I could bank it. I think uh, Yeah, I'll I'll bank that one. Because it doesn't seem like it's gonna be particularly effective. Okay, yeah, hopefully I can get him back in the fight, but I'll take a, I'll take a single blue. Mm -hmm. Anyway. That's the first time I've managed to not hit with a blue. That sucks. Hmm. So now I've got to manoeuvre it without bumping into the back of my other shield. <laughs> you, know, you know there are highly skilled X Wing and a lot of players out there that can do this all day without touching each other. But that's not what people watch our show. No. You crazy guys. If you came here expecting a display a professional of game. <laughs> Star Wars Armada Acumen, we are so sorry. Okay, that's good. That's good. I managed to not crash. We're now cool. in procession. That looks like it's, like it's almost planned. <coughs> Superb. Okay, I'm going okay. to go. Squadrons. squadrons. Well, my ghost is going to have to try and blast the interceptors here, isn't it? Or is it going to die horribly? Who forgot about the ghost? I did. Uh, three blues on the interceptors for. Fuck all! No. I will counter. I done, thought you should. Has he done anything? Nice. No! These are shit. I hate it. Sorry, two points of damage and we go. Two my, hit points. My fight has been unstoppable. Even though you have been absolutely <laughs> unstoppable. That was his attack. That was just two. Needs more baby trick. Where's the wild wings? <laughs> the wild wings are being useless pieces of shit up here. Um, some, yeah, why wins attack the attack the TIE fighters for two blue on the TIE fighters there. For fuck all! Uh, over to you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try and finish this. the ghost out of his misery. So, interceptors mm -hmm. with four blue with a reroll for swarm tactics. Yeah. Bombers are um, engaged at all, so mm -hmm. uh, I'll have to just move or shoot, isn't it? At the moment, yeah. yeah, of course it is. Okay, I'll use Mauler with Fell. Engage with those white wings. Engage, yeah. so he gets a re roll still. Mm -hmm. That's three blue. Okay. Is the H6 bomber, and I'm fairly sure it's out of range. Yeah, it's well out of range. The TIE fighters. Four. 
I'll use those ties to attack the yep. white wings. There's three blue with a reroll. That's one hit. Reroll, one hit. One hit point remaining. Any other squadrons for you? Uh, all I've got left is mine. Okay, tied bombers. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I might as well. No, I can probably get them. Where's the bombers move? Oh, they've got move four as well. Okay. Let's go and worry the Corvette, because this is the one we can't worry about. Mm. So. Come over here and bother the Corvette a bit. Come. Cool. Um, yeah, all your red markers flip round to green. Um, tap all your tapped cards. And. Uh, on to turn five, squadrons act on blue. On to turn five. Uh, I've set my orders, I can't remember what they are really. Um, it all feels rather futile to be honest with you. Um, but I'm going to activate my Corellian Corvette. That's, that's, that's my cheap way of winning this game by this point. Yeah. Um, and the first thing she's going to do is we're going to grab this marker here. Yeah, and immolate that rover. Oh, I think I might have to, you know. Um, I revealed an engineering order which I'm going to have to use straight away. I don't generate enough engineering points to actually be able to repair any damage, uh, unfortunately, but I can recover a shield. Um, so I'm going to stick a front shield back on. Much good may it do me. Um, that's still pretty good. Cool. Can we get a shot off on the destroyer? Too far out. I could. It's popped its rear shields, isn't it? Yeah. What I shall do is I should do anti squadron fire out of my front, catching the TIE fighters and the TIE mm. bombers. That sounds good. Thin them okay, yeah. yeah, so TIE bombers, one point of damage. Uh, the TIE fighters, no damage. And yeah, I shall do uh, two red, one blue up the rear of the Star Destroyer. He's not very happy about this. No, he's, 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 you haven't got much you can trade off there. Most of shields are gone, aren't they? Mm. From the pops at the front as well. Yeah. Oh. Should we get some paint on it, guys? Cool. Yeah. Small series of fuck all is what I've managed to achieve there. <laughs> I believe whoever, whoever it is that I normally play when we're playing. Um, Heracles. No, no. Um, <laughs> Legion. Well, whenever we play Legion, that's, that's what I rock. Brand, yeah. Brand is today is playing the part of Dave. Yeah. It, apparently. And tonight, playing the part of Dave yeah. is Brad. There's our first t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave, over to you. Mm, choices, choices, Dave. Yeah. I'm going to activate the Raider 2. I've given squadron orders too. He's only got a single squadron. Mm -hmm. But it does mean you can move and attack. Yeah. Now, does that have heavy? Yes, it does. They'd be engaged, but heavy means that they move. You can break away, can't huh? you? Mm -hmm. I'll move the bombers. Yeah, one bomber is not really good at screening another bomber. Yeah. I'll move my bombers into okay. the Corvette. Uh, single black. Yes. <coughs> mm -hmm. One point of damage. One point of damage. We'll see how lightning, which is enough to pop it. Well, wow. bombers. Big ship's gone. Yep. To be fair, it's the smallest one on the board. Oh, okay, but it's a ship of the line. Yeah. Yes. It's points. Mm -hmm. Points. Okay, uh, so. Side that way. So I've got that'd be three blue on there. And oh, obstructed one blue would be yeah. no blues. Correct. Okay. Well, we'll just take shots from the front then. Don't even think I can. I'm going to do anti fighter out of the. 
starboard side. Make sure it's blue, blue and black. You could blue it, yeah, blue. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do three blue mm -hmm. on there. Okay, so that's three blue. One hit, one crit, one accuracy. Okay, is that blue critical one last? Yeah, blue critical. Finally got something that works. Choose and exhaust one of the Defender's upgrade cards. Do you have any interesting upgrade cards I could... Other than the original B? Yeah. Crikey, a huge pile. We'll take out the quad battery turrets, I think. Okay. So it's exhausted. It's exhausted, around. yeah. Hooray, I've used one of my cards. Yes, you would. That was nice for me. Um, uh, what can I lock out there? Put two brace and an evade. I might as well lock out the evade. Okay. So it's two hits. I'll yes. brace to make that one. Yep. What side do you hit me on? Uh, on the rear. On the shields. That shields. That was table. Yeah, on the shields. Yeah. Second boy? Uh, yeah, so. And squadron of white wings, wasn't it? Yeah, that's it. Give me that. So then I'm on move three. Let's hope this time I can actually turn that corner. No, but thanks for playing. They always look like they're going to be more maneuverable than that. Mm. <laughs> the big ones are just all over the place. Yeah. Cool. Well, that leaves my MC80 open, doesn't it? We should be able to take this, destroy it, or run a big old one of these. Yeah, um, I've got a squadron order just turned up as well, which I'm going to use. Oh, yeah. Well, make a bit more balls. Get well, uh, B wings are going to do a bombing run on the front of Star Destroyer, which will be. Because you've got no shields on, have you? Blue black. No, he's got no shields. Uh, three hits. Ooh. Uh, okay. Uh, down the path. Brace only takes it down for two, doesn't it? Yep. Uh, okay. Well, I have to brace anyway. So it's two. You've got no shields, so it's two damage, one of which is crit. Okay, if I contain that, that will yeah, take two hits. Yeah, yeah well, let's do that. Six damage remaining. Both ones got over, don't you? I mean, by that point, they look nice. I might as well make a strike in them. Well, it's easy there. Yeah. There's yeah. no shield. Might as well get them right over here. Right. It's going to do anything for. One crit! Ouch. Okay, I'm going to have to take, take that. Yeah. Good old Z95s, I always said I was going to have a Shield failure. Europe, uh, Rebels may choose up to two of your hull zones. Each of the chosen hull zones loses one shield and flip this card face down. Yeah, you've got two hull zones with a shot, two left. Yeah, you can use one off, um, one off your flanks each. This isn't going to end well for me, is it? It's fine. Um, you've just, just got, got a you've just got a starboard volley coming into your front. That's all, which is uh, two blue, four red coming off the. Oh, oh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. We've got any bastards? What well? speed you travel at? One. Oh, fuck. Okay. Very slow. I think he's doing it. Very slow. Two blue, four red. That's more like it. Oh, that's going to... Two, three, four, five, six. Good well, because we've got the fires in first, so I think. I'd have to exhaust that to brace that down to three. Three, yeah. Um, and would that contain completely take out? No, I've sure, got one crit, so... Well, I might as well take out one crit, so... You still have only one crit, that's anyway, might as well save it then. Oh, okay. Yeah, only stop one, and very really in use if you get hit with one crit anymore. That more one crit than it contains doesn't do a lot. Okay. Yeah, so it's, what was that in total? One, two, three, four, six, seven, three, one, which is crit. 
Projector misaligned. Your hole zone with the most remaining shields loses all of its shields. If multiple hole zones are tied, choose between tied hole zones and flip this card face down. Okay. So you lose all your shields off your left or your right? Uh, left. Okay. okay, not many damage remaining. God, God. It, no, it's it soaked up a lot, isn't it? I'm surprised it's still there. Mm. Yeah. And once again, in that front to front. Yeah. This could do it. Oh, I'll do it. Oh, I'm you got no burnt out all your optional contains are gone and mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got nothing left. Two hits. Two's enough. He's only got eleven left. Start destroyed him. Wow. Big ship's gone down. Go to yeah. Jakku, will you? Hmm. There so we I'm go. I'm hoping that might have lasted a bit longer. That's a life. Well last last. Well you asked it to the penultimate turn. Yeah. They laughed at me when I said I'm never bringing in a Star Destroyer armed with some Z95s. Two. Two. And now he crashes into some debris. Far too bold. He's being too okay. bold. Is he going to hit the bold? Yeah, of course I am. That's for it again. Oh my yeah. god, let's pop that as well then. And he's fine. Well, he's not fine, but three, four, five, six, seven. He's got one hit point left. He's fine. It's like a bit in GTA where your car's just smoking a lot, but other than that, it's fine. Yeah, it's just a little on fire in space somehow. Uh, Dave, over to you. I mean, it's even because you took out my Corellian Corvette. I'm oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. Point, points wise, I'm sure we're, we're right. <laughs> okay, uh, the Raider has got uh, Concentrate Fire, which isn't going to do a lot of good. I think it's all we could give him because he's not got anything else. I think the B-Wings are heroes of a day, personally. It, it was the way you, uh, you played that was good, though, because you, you mm -hmm. got them to take down the shields first of all. Yeah. Okay, concentrate fire. I'm glad I brought the Z95s. <laughs> I knew they were going to be the game changers here. Yeah. Okay, let's just do anti squadron. Took both of those in range. Mm hmm, works for me. Uh, oh no, sorry, that's. That's black on his anti squadron, isn't it? It's too black. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Same one. No. Well, I'll just move then. Okay, cool. Uh, How fast he goes? Two. Oh. You should enjoy the squad from around there. Okay, he's going to launch those. Mm, that's fine. Uh, one on B. It has pulled an engineering one, which is uh, very welcome. And I'm going to use that to lose a damage card, so he's back up to three hit points. Handy if you can get away with it. You should probably zap that raider at the back. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Yeah, uh, starboard volley into the back of a raider is red blue. One hit, one crit up the back side of a raider. Uh, distance, is it close? It evades, it doesn't do any good, is it? Yeah, it's too close to evade. Okay, I'll brace. That's one. Okay, shield blow. And I'll do an anti squadron at my rear, hitting those tie bombers for one point of damage. So over to you. Uh, my ship's played out. Okay, just got the gladiator to go. Uh, just chucked his orders over there. I've given him uh, engineering, which I will use. Uh, he's got three engineering points. I can't believe that's hard to try to anymore. I, I mean, I, it was, I think you well played yeah, but mm -hmm. at the beginning of the game, it was looking like you. That wasn't going to happen. Yeah. I think he was you were going to pop straight away. So. Especially yeah. that unlucky hit with the rocks. Yes. If you take the token, do you round up or down for engineering points? Always round up. Okay, so if I. In your favour. Yeah, so I'll use 
Three engineering points to discard one damage. Yep. Cool. I'll cash in his token to. Uh, I can take a shield back. Yeah, you can stack those. Uh, that's mine, that's yours. Okay. Okay, let's see what we've taken. Probably haven't taken it. And then we've got to move to, oh, I don't think you're going to be able to shoot anything again. Because I'm miles out. We've got a way out then. Yeah, I've got two move, oh, check maneuvers. That's so all my uh, capital ships done. Okay. So one done, so on to squadrons, such as our uh, so blue one still to activate. Yeah, you've got the ghost. Uh, no, I don't. This is awesome. It still, <laughs> still hurts, damn it. Um, I use the H6 bombers to try and knock out these tie bombers. Okay. He's been shit everything so far, but maybe this is how he shines. What do you roll? Two blue. Yay! And that's one point of damage on the tide bombers. And uh, my wild wings will try and knock out these tie fighters with their two blue. Is that two blue? What we on that? Yeah, two blue. So no, it's over to you. Just realised my Y wings are actually off, but I've put an extra stand segment in there. It shouldn't be there. <laughs> well, they're taller. Yeah. That just gives them a sense of uh, yeah. sense of elevation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move the bombers. Still there. Yeah, he can go to reverse. What does this special do? So, well, he's still alive, this is what his special does. Okay. What I'm going to do with him is move him into the centre there. Now, will he be engaged with both of those? He would be, yes. Okay. After you move, each squadron engaged with you suffers one damage. Wow. Aha. So, what do you do? Yes. Get there. That's. Pretty much double the points of a regular TIE Fighter Squadron just for that. That's all he gets, but that's enough. My wings are made. Go Mauler. Okay, that's my two activations. Take out of range, eh? You got any more? No, I'm going to play down. Okay, so. TIE Fighters. My wings, yeah. That's three with the reroll for Swarm Tactics. That's one. That's two hits. Mm -hmm. One hit point remaining. And pretty much these two whizzing over and getting busy. Is there any point in them attacking? Not really. It's squadrons against squadrons time. They must have five, surely. Okay, even though it looks hopeless, I'm still fine. Right, so end of turn five, all your red markers flip back round to green. If you've got any tapped up red cards, so switch over. And one, two, turn six. Mm. Squadrons activate on red, final turn. And issue orders. If you've got these ships left. That was a messy turn. It's, yeah. yeah. Quite a few changes going on there. More than lethal, that's quite a move actually, isn't it? Mm. Just basically keep base contact with them. I should have done it previously because they can do it again. That'd be deadly, yeah. Because yeah. if because he popped out and he didn't have to move, he was fine, so I didn't mm. use it. But yeah, I should have been moving around because they're bombers, they couldn't stop him. Yeah. Should have just been flitting around and down. Him, yeah. Giving everyone damage. Sure. All go. set? Yeah. Cool. Such as it is. Yeah. Yeah, very much so. Oh, I'm gonna activate the MCA. Good move. I have given an engineering order. I'm going to use to wipe the hit point. So I'm 
send me back in the game with two hit points left to my name, and I can redirect a shield if I want to, but I don't think there's any real point in doing so. Um, oh yeah, tell you what, I'll, I'll redirect a shield from my rear into my starboard side here. Now, what massive damage can I unleash? I think that's pretty tempting. Oh, can I get from? I think I can. Almost definitely can. Uh, I'll just starboard into the front of this uh, radar. So it's two blue, blue four red. red. Defense capabilities of radar got? Um, two evades and one brace. Well, I'll look at the brace, that's three points of damage. Okay. Uh, so that's medium range, yeah? Yep. May as well reroll the. Re -roll the only evades you got? You can use one of the type anyway. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, okay, so one evade. Mm -hmm. Do we reroll blue or red? Red. Look at that help. Uh, <laughs> so four points it's of damage. It's turned around here, isn't it? It's, it's okay. Yeah. That's four points uh, of damage. Four. You got no shields. Four. Yeah. Uh, that pops him instantly. That doesn't surprise me. Does it really? It just yeah. blew yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose the smaller ships don't have the life force. No, I mean it was a battleship to be fair. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And I'll just want to see how effective their broadsides are. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. Huge. Uh, and I'll do anti squadron out the front, which will catch the TIE bombers and these TIE fighters. So on the TIE bombers, one point of damage. It's still there. It's just a little tasty. Yeah, on these TIE fighters, one. It's not just easy. And charging at speed two. You can put those two down. Barely yeah. safe, I would say. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to bad here. It's going to be that effective at that range. Over to you, Dave. Okay. This is not the biggest. The, the board like has it. changed so much. Like it, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I've only got the radar two. I've given him manoeuvre. He's currently moving at speed three. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, but I'm going to drop it to speed 2 anyway and see mm -hmm. what we can do. I don't think there's anything I can do. Uh, right, weapons check. Oh, there's a hell of a rear arc there, isn't it? So I've got... Dot to dot for line of sight for range is cardboard range. to cardboard. Oh, okay, so I've got blue and black. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, no, it's not going to hit the front arc. Okay, I've got. Not a lot, to be honest. Uh, okay, I might as well take one blue at the front arc and a blue and black at the starboard. Okay. So, Blue at the front. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's a hit. Uh, I'll redirect. Oh, I've still got to take one hit, as you said, for redirect. I believe so, yeah. Oh no, you're you're not, any amount of damage on the yeah. yeah, okay, I'll redirect to the port side then. Yeah. yeah. Okay, blue and black on that side. On the starboard side, yeah. Yeah. Okay, one accuracy, one hit, one crit. Well, contain brace and redirect. Uh, get rid of the brace. Okay, cool. So it's two hits, yeah? Yeah. Uh, Soak one and take one. <laughs> one hit point left. Is that critical? Yeah, it will be, yeah. 
Thrust control malfunction, the yaw value for this last adjustable joint in your current speed is reduced by one. One can point that. Not going to be worse. Yeah. You're hoping for double damage, weren't you? Oh, I can't get that token anyway, can I? Because of the bloody... It's end of the... Uh, yeah, do the activation. Okay, where else? Anything else for you today? Uh, all I've got to do is move. Oh, you've got to move radius and go. Um, yeah, this is going to be sound there. Come on, you're looking for a hit point. Woohoo! Oh, he has to take one from there, so at least he finishes on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to re replace the uh, oh, okay. interceptors. Right, so there's my Nebulon B. To go? Yeah, you never be long. Speed, yeah, speed, speed man. Oh, who are you going to shoot? Gonna, eh? I'm just going to push you up to maximum speed for shits and giggles. Yay, yay. See how fast he can go. Trying to avoid flying off here just by his physical challenge. Oh, he's only in range as well. Yeah, oh, crap. Is he in range? Barely. Really? Absolutely. Out the Barely. Uh, yeah, I'll take a pot shot because it's well, stupid not to. So uh, it's one red. Yeah, Death Star took the One red. red so so one crit. Really? Now you've looked great. Oh, I've got the evade, I can... Cancel it. Long, cancel long range. Time. Yeah, cancel it. No, fine. Alright. How right, fast I can go? Who's fast? Let's keep you out of range. Hey! I was just curious how fast I could go. Uh, Dave, over to you. Yeah, unfortunately that just leaves my... Okay, class. Yeah. Which is to make no mess of it, right? Yeah. They can't even hit this. Well, you might be able to hit the front. You've got two red on the front. Even that. That's quite a long shot. Oh, isn't it? no, it's going out. It's out of range. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, dear, oh dear. Definitely need to work on tactics. Well, this is well, this, going this going right, right, to be close range. Yeah, not the way I put this game to end, I must admit. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> it wasn't looking good in the back go, game turn three, was it? It wasn't looking good until I took the Star Destroyer out. Yeah, and then all of a sudden we can see. Yeah, it's good for me to brought those Z95s. Yeah, the best thing ever. Yeah. Well, I might as well take a blue pot shot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because it's all I've got. I might as well do something at the end of the game. You might I, take him out. I, I, tend to, I tend to find that at the end of games. I've got, I'm, I'm out of range of everything, I've got nothing to do. Cool. No. Accurate as fuck, but yeah. useless. <laughs> Move. Next turn will be awesome because he's got it right where he needs to be plow into that MCM, but mm -hmm. not today. Okay, so you got your ships played out? Yep. Yep, on two. Squadrons. Surely sorry to get straight there. Why are we going to go for these TIE fighters? Hope for taking me. Hey, why are we going to time to show him? Yeah. So it's the only one I've got any chance of taking out. But not today. I have to say, you've brought your worst pilots. I really have. The pilots are <laughs> absolutely <laughs> pants. That's your go. Well, last gasp at the uh, at the capital ship. Yeah. I've got one bomber. Yeah. Need one big black dice. <sighs> Could do it. I've only got one hit point left. Goodbye. One. I want to sit here. It's whether he can. There must be something you can do to stop one here. Uh, or not. Or not. No! Good no. Bang! My time bombers have taken out yeah. both capital ships. Blimey. Awesome. A bit of a medal, of, medal of Honor for them. Really yeah. could have done still been on the board, could Yeah, you? okay. Well done, mate. Well, I presume yeah. you must have crashed, crashed into them. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, are they supposed to be A-wings? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> um, well, let's try and go for the hat-trick and pop that through. It's a bit of a shit general recon, wasn't that? You're quite important. <laughs> <laughs> and continuity was forever changed. Uh, so those mm. top fighters, so I think on the wings. Yeah. Yay! Time is down. I've won the battle of the squadron. Yes, absolutely. Um, and I've certainly evened up the capital ships. Not too. Yeah, it's this. Yeah, um, that's just done basically, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, what a change. 
Um, do you want to, is it, if you've got your army list to hand, do you want to top up the points of all the ships and squadrons that I destroyed and I'll total up your... Is it including upgrades? Yes. Okay. And uh, I, I, I managed to get more intel than you did, so you need to give me plus 75 points yeah, on top of that as well. You really couldn't do without losing that capital ship. Really. I think that might have made a difference. Yeah. Uh, 223. So you have more destroyed ships. Okay, so plus 75. Uh, you get plus 75, I get, so, plus, no. I get plus 75. Yeah, so plus 75, that'd be 298. You scored 293. Oh, oh my word! Joking. Wow. Because have you picked up the um, shiny things? Yes, absolutely. I did well. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I guess it's that was all. Really superb. It was amazing. Yeah. 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 Oh. A really good game. Oh, yeah. I lost that. <laughs> it, it, it's so different from like, game turn three. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. You think you were going to get a beat in there. Yeah, absolutely. But if you lose that capital ship early on, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yes. Um, uh, unpredictable, this game. Very, very unpredictable. No, I did actually enjoy that one. Good. Just enjoying the spectacle. Yeah. No, it, was a, it was a swingy game. It ended up, uh, as we see, a five point victory isn't really a victory at all. No. No, no but. Um, if, you the, if you're the rebels, count it. I think, yeah. I think that's the draw, actually. But, uh, yeah. yeah, that fucking tie bombers. As soon as I saw them lined up, I was like, shit, I've got one hit point left. I really should have tried to screen, even if I tried to get the Z95s out of there just to screen it a bit, but I don't think they made anyway. I yeah. think that whole thing is just deploying. That was, shooting that, that was definitely a game changer. Yeah, I might have to try those next yeah, time. Yeah, definitely. Those two bombers destroy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the problem is you can't move them, but if you're in the thick of it, if you could save them up. It's also about bigger bases, but the Super Star Destroyer is two large bases, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I can drop one. To, I mean, what, if the Super Star Destroyer is 23 inches long, it's a 23 inch long it spread of dropping your squadrons out of. Yeah. So they all got to come out at the same point. No, that's right. As, uh, as a really good, really enjoyable game, Dave. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Good fun. Yeah. Okay, guys, we hope you've enjoyed this gameplay as much as uh, we have. Uh, lots of swearing, lots of explosions, and uh, lots of uh, Bobby's packing peanuts. <laughs> um, if you want to keep up with the show, the easiest way to do that is to find us on emotionally14.com, which is the show this, uh, which is the site that this show is produced for, which contains all sort of fantasy, sci-fi, horror, comedy, tabletop gaming, Star Wars, and all the other things you love can all be found at emotionally14.com. And you can find them on all social media channels at Emotionally14. And of course, the easiest way of keeping up with these episodes is to subscribe to Emotionally14's YouTube channel, which is in most likelihood where you're watching this. If you'd like to follow the show itself, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at UK. And if you'd like to follow me personally, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at RealBradHB. Uh, Ian, where can people find you? Uh, on Instagram, on Great Old One. Okay. And Dave? You can find me on Instagram, Dave DCLXVI, and under the Milton 100 War Games Club and Broadside War Games Show coming soon. Woo! Uh, Woo! On Facebook. I'll bring, I'll bring my superstar, it's right. Yeah. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll be back with more firing, winning, and redeeming very soon. <laughs> Bye! Bye!